All right, guys. Hey, what's happening? Hey, once again, I'm at uh, probably about three hours. You know, since I had these brisket on, about three hours and fifteen minutes. You know, so my pit, I had it all the way up to three twenty-five. You know, but I wanted to cool it down, so I added about a half a gallon of water. So it's been staying at two twenty-five, but it's still hot. Okay, but I've been running these splits. You know, for the past couple hours. You know, I started off with a big split. You know. A big huge split so one of these four of these make a big split okay and i just took it i got a splitter a four-way splitter and i made them into quarters all right so that's what i usually run and this is what i usually run when i'm doing a night cook about this size two of them one on each leg uh for my night cook but i ran a big split bigger than this one first when i first started off with my pit so this is all post oak all right, let's check out the briskets and then we're going to check out the uh, the firebox, add another uh, a chunk, another split, and then uh, this will be just about finished. So my briskets are actually sitting at one, this one is sitting at 160, 166, 167, all right, I'm going to spray it down too. And then the bottom one is sitting at 171, okay. I'm telling you, when you, run, when you run straight splits or try to run it like a stick burning, you know, the smoke profile is a lot better. Man, look at all that good juice, too. That's what make it when I do my briskets. Slice it up, put it back in the juice, okay? Let's go with this. Keep this open. All right, and we're going to spray it down. Usually, I don't spray, but since I got it open, why not? You know, not... I think it was Darian. Darian said he wanted to try it on a long weekender. Uh, when I'm doing a hot and fast, I like the long weekender better because I don't have to keep my door open as much because of the long weekender, man. It uh, it less more air in if you're going to be running straight splits. Battle box does just as well, okay? But the long weekender gets up the temp a lot faster, so you got to be careful about that. Spray this one down too. All right. I also got I also got the uh, my kettle grill going. That's the master touch. I got two picnics in there. They just about done. That was a night cook on my uh, kettle grill I did last night. I ran about 11 hours straight on that kettle grill, man. I because I was using my uh, slow and sear. I'm telling you that one that works real good too. You know, so I do got like a half a gallon of water down there because my pit did get up to about 350. So if it does get up that far, you don't want to, you know, smoke that high. Just, just throw a half a gallon of water in there. It'll cool it down. Let's check out the bottom. We're going to add one more split. Well, I'm going to add a small one. All right. I'm just going to add a small one because I got enough smoke on there as is. Um, so when it gets down to this, that's why I like it. You know, uh, let's see, we'll run, I'll take this one right here. Yeah, that one right there. Just like that. Now, this, how many splits I ran? I ran a big one when I first started off, way bigger than this one. Man, it was probably, it was huge. Now I threw that one in there, let that burn down to uh, the charcoals, probably about, about two hour, hour and a half. See how it's catching now? So, cause I got a knife, I got a nice bed of of uh, coals down there, and it's not charcoal. That's that's actually all split. It's all wood. So I probably use equivalent to three big splits, three big splits, which I'm talking about. I broke them down into quarters, which gave me uh, I think seven or eight. Okay, yeah, about eight, and I've been using those. So right now I am on my two and a, two and a quarter split. All right. See how fast that's catching? Close it up, leave it alone. Hey, I'm gonna get rid of this little small one. And that one too. Run like a stick burner. You can do it. Leave the door open for just a little bit, let it catch. Man, that smells good. Love post oak. But I tell you, if you're running splits, if you got a long weekender, it works better. 
It does. There you have it. And it burns a lot cleaner than using charcoal or any kind of briquette, unless you're using char logs. Now, I love char logs, but I can't find it anymore up here. Ace Hardwood Store, and that's where I usually get it from, but uh, I've been having a backlog, so I do got some on order. But sometimes I use my char logs in my battle box. All right, there you go. I'm not gonna close it, keep it cracked, just like that. Watch that temp rise up. I'm going to let those burn down. I'm liking the color already on my briskets. I'm going to let go just a little tad darker. And then I'm going to wrap them up. Okay. That's under five hours. All right, guys, I gotta go. Last video. Yeah, I'll talk to you later, and I'll probably be on the long weekend there, probably tomorrow at the shop. All right, God bless, and we'll talk to you later.